Hey everybody, uh, I'm Nick and uh, I'm here for Becca as you all know and I'm a heart surgeon. Um, really pleased that everything came out okay. So one of the major things about the doctor is what they call a cardiothoracic surgeon. And uh, I actually had um, uh, open heart surgery this morning and I almost- Dad, what are you doing here? Well, it's parent career day, isn't it? Mr. Meyer. Expecting you. I'm sorry. We're almost out of time, but if you'd like a few moments to talk about your career, I, I, I would. I would. Thank okay. you. And I almost didn't make it, but I'm really glad I was able to still come. Uh, I'm really happy to be here. Does anyone have any questions? Did anyone ever die on you? Um, yes. It's one of the toughest jobs about being a doctor. Can't save everyone, but I do enjoy helping people and making a difference in their lives. So uh, thank you so much for having me and uh, Ms. Daniels. Hello, Eva. Nice for you to show up for your daughters of men. Fuck off. Don't do this to her. Sit down, quack. So now we get to hear from Becca's other dad, Eli Meyer. Hey. Hello. How are you? I'm going to ask you some questions, and I want them answered immediately. Uh, Mr. Meyer, I don't think they're familiar with kindergarten cop. You're, you're right. It's a little dated. Um, so I'm Eli Meyer. I'm, I'm, I'm Becca's dad. And f first of all, let, let's give a great big hand to Dr. Pappas once more. Yeah. So uh, I'm an actor, and I mainly work in TV and film. And though I may not save lives, I do play people who do sometimes. So you play cops and firefighters? I, I, I do. Um, I, I was on a show called Ladder Six. That was a great show. Remember Duke, the main firefighter? Yep, that, that was me. So what are you in now? Well, right now I'm in a great show called Parent Career Day. Are you in anything now? Well, sometimes a show closes and you just move on to the next. It's part of the business. Huh. I see. He's not in anything at all. No, he's not, Jeffrey. Ladder 6 was canceled three years ago. Thank you, um... Stan. Well, Stan the Wall Street man. I don't work on Wall Street. I work in Midtown. Thank you for specifying, Stan. My pleasure. <laughs> what a prick. Hey, he just said the word... I heard him. How's that, uh, Beach House Rehab working out for you? Your lucky day today, Stan. I'm not going to go there with you in front of the kids. Let's wrap up there. You're the one who brought this on. See you around, Stan. He was way out of line. I liked you on that show. Thank you. Well, that escalated quickly. Well, it certainly sucked. I hope you two work this out. This can never happen again. It, it won't on my end. Way to go, Eli. Enjoy the show, Dr. Ventricle. I gotta get back to work. I'll see you at dinner, okay? Always a pleasure. Rough one, Dad. You okay? Are you? Well, like you said, it was a rough one. I know. All right. It was a complete mess. Sounds like it. I think the guy was a, just a total condescending prick to me. What's his name? Stan. Stan to Wall Street Man. That's what you called him? Yeah, I mean, I was joking with him. Were you? Doesn't sound like a joke. It sounds like you took what he said as an attack and you decided to hit him back with a little bit of snark. Oh, maybe? No, maybe. That's what you did. And that's not sober behavior, my friend. Believe me, I've been there, too. I used to get into fights with people over this kind of shit. Really? Yeah. My nickname was Trigger. <laughs> oh, shit. So you were saying? I don't know what I'm saying, man. I'm just, I'm just trying to get everything together, my career, my daughter. It just yeah, you're trying to find sucks. a place to put all that, right? Yeah. You got to call me, Eli. If not every day, at least three times a week. Also, reaching out to people, that helps too. I know. I just, I just kind of felt the shame because too much time had gone by. Then every time I wanted to call, too much time had gone by. Yeah, and you thought what? That I wouldn't pick up? Or that I would pick up and tell you to go to hell? Something like that. 
I just thought it'd be better to handle it alone or just kind of suffer alone, you know? Yeah, well, you assume too much, man. And then you get it in your head that you can fly solo and do all this stuff all by yourself, okay? Well, I've been there too. Early on in my sobriety, I had to go back to counting days. Shit. Well, you made it back. Yeah, I did. But not before doing massive amounts of research. But I got lucky. Yeah. There before the grace of God go I. Yeah. But we gotta get back to the work, man. Yeah. When's the last time you spoke to a sponsee? Not in a while. I think a sponsee might, uh, might help you get out of your head. Possibly. Hmm. I'll do it. Great. And it's settled. Yeah. The whole thing was a complete disaster. It sounds beyond horrible. But Jeffrey's dad was being a dick. Becca! I mean, that's fair to a point. Eli did start it, but that guy was out of line. Jeffrey's dad made a joke about dads. A joke about what, hon? You know, uh, what's his name? Stan, he said a comment about rehab to Eli. I feel really bad. He said it to the whole entire class. That's horrible. Eli said, that's just, you know, a nice name, and he muttered it, and the guy overheard. He called Jeffrey's dad Stan the Wall Street Man. And then he said, you know, it, it, it really doesn't matter now. None of this should have happened. Hey, sweet pea, uh, why don't you get started on your algebra? Maybe Nick can help you with that? Oh, boy. <laughs> I'll try. We'll both help you, hon. Just give us a few. I can barely add and subtract. You know, Eli and that mouth of his seems to be a problem, among other things. Okay, okay, so we slipped up and lost his call. Slipped up? I wouldn't be surprised if he was still drunk from the night before. Nick. Eli reminds me of my dad. Totally thin-skinned, irresponsible. He, he needs to set a better example. Look, I know your dad was a mean drunk, but Eli is not your dad. My dad looked for a fight, some kind of conflict. I, I will talk to Eli. <laughs> Ooh, careful, doctor. Your pulse is high. That's not my pulse. <laughs> no, but, Becca, I'm, I'm sorry. I just, I didn't mean to embarrass you. His dad was a dick. I know, <laughs> but come on now. Hey, I, um, bet Mom wasn't too happy, huh? She's fine. You sure? Stan the Wall Street man. I thought it was funny when you called him a prick. Yeah, but I, I shouldn't have called him that. I got so mad when he mentioned... I know, I, I know. Hey, uh, you know, you seem to be getting along with Nick. Yeah, he's all right. He can't do voices like you. No, he can't. <laughs> You're pretty good yourself. Becca, time for dinner. Bye, Dad. Love you. Gotta go. Hey, Becca, I, I, I love you, too. But... Family time. Told right there. This will be an industrial for a liver injection patients will give themselves called Clear Spot. You gonna get that? Yep, yeah, sorry. Just use this magic marker as an injector or syringe. Lift your shirt and pretend to inject yourself. Cool? Oh, and if you are booked, that belly needs to be shaved. This is a medical industrial, not searching for Bigfoot. All right, Eli, go ahead and slate. Name and height. Eli Meyer, 5'7". Recovering from liver dysfunction has never been easier. Twice a day, once in the morning, and once in the evening. Thanks to Clear Spot and its state-of-the-art air-pressed injection, injecting yourself is now painless and with no needles. Ask your doctor to see if you qualify. Hi. Hi. 
Harmony by? It's Harmony by Karate. It's my dojo. Nice. I used to take karate years ago. See your yellow belt? Yep. Got your dad in there? Yeah. He really needs his commercial. Well, commercials pay the bills. <laughs> I have to have bunion surgery myself. Ugh. Is that a foot fungus thing? No, it's not a foot fungus thing. It's a... <laughs> Never mind. Okay. This time, hit the name of the drug a little harder, and after that, touch the magic marker right above your belly. Don't stab it. Remember, this is supposed to look easy. Got it. Okay. Action. You too can now try to recover from wallowing depression. Try to recover from wallowing depression, life hopelessness, and alcoholism by stabbing yourself with a marker for an audition you're 20 years too young for. Look at me. Cut. Great. Thank you, Eli. Really good job. Oh, th th thank you. Here. I'm going to be late. Hey. It's okay, we're gonna be fine. Good luck taking care of your foot fungus. It's not a foot fungus. <laughs> yeah, all's good, Rhonda. <laughs> yeah, uh, we'll, we'll get up there. Our audition went great, thank you. Uh, oh, asshole! No, 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 not, not you, Rhonda. Yeah. Nobody's stopping for us. God, uh, I, I promise we're gonna get there. Uh, you know, we, we just got in a cab. We just got in a cab, I gotta go. You're lying to her, we're not in a cab. Hey, we will make it, I promise. This is important to me, my bell test is next week. You know, it's important to me too, and we will make it up there. God damn, not a cab around here. Dad, just stop. Becca, this isn't the way I wanted it. I didn't want to miss the audition. I thought I could do it all. You always told me not to try to do everything all at once. And now you're trying to do it. I know, I know. I, I, don't, I don't know what I was thinking. I, I fucked up. I, I messed up, rather. Do you still have that special stone I gave you last year? I do. It's at my place. Find it and put it in your pocket. You won't fuck up as much. Yeah. We missed practice. You can invite me in. Your priority was to get her to karate. Look, I didn't think it would take that long. But you could have asked for a different time. It doesn't work out that way. I don't care how it works. That's not Becca's problem. That's yours. Look, I really needed this, even if it was for a dumb medical product. Grabbing at every dumb medical job isn't the answer. Trying to get your career back on track takes focus, Eli. Thanks, I'm very aware of that. Are you? Because I feel like you've become even more unfocused lately, even self-centered. I'm not perfect. Look, I, I struggled after that show ended, but I thought we were doing well again when you ended things. Well, in some ways we were, and in other ways, it's a freaking roller coaster. It wasn't working for me. I understand that, but, but things are better. I, I just, I, just I, keep, I keep thinking, you know? Eli, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, maybe we can work things out. You know, I, I, I mean, how are things going with Dr. Evil? Eli, Nick proposed the other night and I accepted. We just set a date. Becca's got uh, math homework. Um. Eli, uh, when was the last time you went to a meeting? After my first sponsor passed away from colon cancer, my second sponsor relapsed. I was lost, pretty much detached from the program. Against any rational judgment, I started flirting with a woman I met in the rooms. She offered to sponsor me. When you have sex with your sponsor, as they're taking you through the fourth step, who do you make amends to? <laughs> I went right back out. I've been out of rehab for a week, and I feel like an idiot, and I'm terrified. Uh, I don't know, that's all I got.
Thanks, Raymond. Thanks, Raymond. Thanks again, Raymond. You're in the right place. Okay, Eli, last one. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm Eli, I'm an alcoholic. Hey. Hey. Uh, thank you, Raymond, for your share. I related, I related a lot to it. I can identify with uh, being lost, you know, making, making the wrong choices and knowing it. I have this demon that talks to me sometimes. It tells me what a piece of shit I am. And it tells me that drinking and using is going to make it all okay again. Fear. You know, fear of, fear of losing my daughter. You know, I have a fear of not working in my business. Just the mistakes, same mistakes. You know, I, um, so I dragged my daughter to a, to a last minute audition because, you know, knowing that she would be late for her karate practice because I, I didn't want to miss out. And, uh, you know, I wanted what I wanted, most of all. So of course we missed her karate practice and I had to deal with my ex-wife. And in the back of my mind, it felt great to fail. It felt comfortable because it confirmed what a piece of shit I am. And I, and I could beat myself up after. You know, when I, w when I was out there, you know, I wanted it all. Of course I do, all of it. I'd have plan A, plan B, plan C all right in front of me so I didn't run out. And now I'm uh, missing out on everything. Hey, Eli. Hey. Great share, man. Hey, thanks a lot. Listen, you're going to go up to Raymond and tell him, you're not going to ask him, but tell him that you're going to be his sponsor. Really? Really. I mean, you can't work through your own pile of shit unless you help somebody else out with theirs. Got it? Yeah, right. Okay. Do your best. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey. Eli. Hey, Great Carol. Share, Eli. Thank you so much. Oh, well, uh, you mind if I borrow Raymond? By all means. I better see you here again, mister. You will, Carol. Thank you. Hey, man, great share. You too, Eli. Thanks for your share. Yeah, you're welcome. So, uh, here's the deal. Uh, I'm gonna be your sponsor. Okay. Yeah? Is that cool? Yeah. Awesome. That's cool. Just, uh, just one thing, man. Uh, we're not having sex. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Deal? That's a deal. <laughs> All right. All right, man. Thanks. Awesome. I'll see you. I am super grateful, April, that you were even able to get me in that room. I mean, I, I know it's, it's slow. I understand. Do you? Because apparently some people don't. I had another client leave me for another agent. Wow. Who? It doesn't matter. Why? Do you want to leave me too? You know, you've been in this business a long time, Eli. You know that it runs in cycles. I am failing as an agent. Okay? I'm failing. Are you happy? I'm failing in my chakra workshop. I can't sell their stupid fucking oils. Do you want some green jasmine? Whoa, 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 look. <laughs> I'm easy. failing. Look, look at me. Look, no, you're not failing. Look, we all go through things. Man, I, I have got my own share of shit show. I don't know. <laughs> Hold on a second. April, Lions Group. Oh, hey, Sandra. Yeah? Oh, thank you. Oh, that is so excellent. Of course, I'll tell him yes, and thank you so much. And tell Danny I said hi. This looks like an uplifting cry. 
it's always an uplifting cry when someone books. Oh, good for them. You booked Clear Spot. What? I booked it? You're a liver guy. Oh, my God. I'm going to make so much money off of this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. That's great. Her dad is the, what do you call the person who puts people to sleep? Oh, uh, Nick. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, the term is anesthesiologist. So that's what he does. Yeah, he was involved with the operation with the twins connected at the head. It's pretty cool. So uh, you and Lori had a good time? Yeah, she's really funny. She could do voices too. We prank called Jeffrey. Oh, <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, but that's kind of yeah. funny. Hey, uh, you want to know something else funny? What? The audition I had the other day. Guess who booked it? Guess who booked it? Yeah. Wow! The one where you stab yourself with a magic marker? That's the one! Woohoo! And we shoot tomorrow. Fuck yeah! Shh! Ooh, keep it down with the earphones. <laughs> but I told you, every day, man, one day at a time, things get better. Hey, sweet pea. Wanna come in for a few? Yeah, I'd come in for a minute. Love you, Dad. Love you, too. You should tell Mom about the commercial. Uh -huh. Wait, what? Which commercial? So the, you know, the dumb medical product thing I was telling you about the other day? And you are... I'm the liver patient. So I think they're going for the liver, you know, the relapse ruin my liver type of thing. And uh, I wish you tomorrow morning. <gasps> wow. I am really happy for you, Eli. Really. Thank you. Thank you. Well, hey, I, I, I should go. <laughs> Yeah. No Jehovah's. I said no Je Hey there, superstar. We should celebrate that booking. I brought you a treat. Let's get started. <laughs>